Oh yeah, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll be doing an unboxing of the uh, SE6. Okay. Uh, I've ordered this from uh, the US and I paid around, around about uh, $173 I think off eBay uh, and it's taken uh, not that long to ship you know, over Christmas and stuff. It took about two weeks so that's pretty fast given that you know it was over Christmas. All right. Oof, look at that. Okay, really nice and nice in the box there. Oh, let's bring it in a bit closer. Might turn off one of these lights here. Alright, so I've changed the lighting up a bit, so... You're not getting a sheen or shine on the box. Okay. Alright, let's see what we have here. Nice box art. Okay. SE logo. Some very useful information on the back. Okay, you can pause it here if you want to have a look. So what do we have? Determining distance traveled without GPS. Okay. Declination. Okay, we call this magnetic variance, I think, in Australia. Using UTM with GPS and topo map. Yep. Contour lines. Steep terrain, yeah. And all this stuff. Nice conversion charts, okay. Determining distance across the river. Really interesting. I might have a read of that. No, I have a method of doing that, but that's very different to this, so I have a read how to do that. Alright, some really good info on the back, so really nice that they've done that. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Let's see what we get in the box. Randall's Adventure and Training, nice, nice card. Okay. And it's got some stuff on the back as well, really nice. So you've got a, uh, like a ruler here, short term survival tips. Okay, you can read those if you want. I think that's an inch. Yeah, looks like an inch to me. Once again, a bit of conversion here. So really good info. An SE sticker. Okay, you can put that on your fridge. What do we have here? Right here, a note from SE Knives. Okay, and another sticker here. You can put this on your equipment or on your fridge. All right, so put all that stuff back in there. All right, so, yep. We all came here to see. Alright, and if you're wondering what this is, this is my Leatherman Super Tool 300, okay? Alright, looks like a vacuum seal bag. Now, this is the SE6 in Desert Tan, I believe. There you go, another card. Same thing on the back. Okay, we got a clip as well. Right, the clip and the screws for the clip. Okay, let's have a look at what they look like. So, just your normal screws. Looks like one of these on one end, this on the other end. Some kind of rubber washer. Okay. 
that's your metal clip okay we'll have a look at that in a bit but yep pretty much what we came here to see right plastic polymer sheath I think nice very nice Oof. I'm gonna turn those lights back on now to see if you guys can okay here we go so really nice color man this is the color I wanted um, I've been waiting you know I've been saving up to get this um, you know for 172 bucks uh, might not be a lot for some people but it's a lot for me okay um, and this is the color I wanted this there was this color with the black I didn't want that I wanted this and really happy with what I've got I mean, really like this color okay um, really like these uh, my Carta 3d handles good grip but yeah just look at that okay uh, we'll get some measurements for you in a second okay so we have we'll go in inches first So roughly a uh, total length of about 11 and 3 quarters of an inch, okay, roughly, yep, blade length up to the choil, up to the handle is about roughly 6 and 3 quarters, the actual blade length from the choil is about five inches I'd say 5.9 inches 5.9 5.8 okay nice finger choil handle length is about five and one quarter inch okay let's do that in centimeters now so total length it's about 30 centimeters okay 30 here blade length up to the handles is 17 centimeters okay blade length up to the, the this part here is 15 centimeters okay Roughly 15.1 centimeters to this point here. Okay, handle length. It is about 13.8 centimeters. Okay, 13.8 centimeters. Uh, if you want to know what the circumference is, the thickest part it is ten and a half centimeters or four inches okay and at the thinnest part it is roughly nine and a half centimeters or about three and one quarters of an inch okay really nice looking blade okay let's do some size comparisons now okay so next to my Leatherman pretty straightforward okay I'll close that up for a bit of context yep okay as you can see it's a decent sized blade uh, next to, uh, I don't have a lot of knives to compare to right now. I only have two at the moment. Okay. This is next to my Bear Grylls Ultimate. Uh, Bear Grylls Knife. I think this is now called the Ultimate Knife. Gerber Ultimate Knife. Um, this is roughly... Yeah, 
about 10 inches this knife okay about 26 centimeters uh, so as you can see you know the blade sorry I should get to it the blade width forgot about that on this is one and a half inches or four and a half centimeters okay so you get an idea there the thickness it's gonna be impossible to measure with this but we'll give it a crack it's roughly four and a half to five millimeters okay There you go. So yep, yeah, here's a look at uh, size comparison with the Gerber Ultimate Knife or the Gerber Barrel Grills. Uh, so, yep, this has been my go-to knife for quite a long time, and you know, it was time um, I wanted to get a slightly bigger knife that could pretty much do everything. And I settled on the SE6. I was thinking about the SE5, the BK2. But, you know, I wanted something that was six inches uh, blade length, roughly around that mark, and BK2 and SC5, they were just a bit small. I did want, you know, a six inch blade that was slightly thicker than this. Yeah, you know, um, I know people say thickness doesn't matter. It does matter in some circumstances, okay? But anyway, so here's the Gerber X knife. Okay, next knife. This is a uh, Winchester Bowie knife. Okay, this is about 14 inches and 14 and less than a quarter inch. Okay, so it's a big knife, as you can see. The SC is much smaller in comparison. Right there. And I think the SC is slightly thicker than this knife. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, yep, I'll have them all together now. And I'll just have this here as well. Let's see that. I forget you. That roughly would give you an idea of the size of this knife, okay? So really not a very large blade. Slightly larger than your average survival knife, but in my opinion, a great size for me, okay? All right, let's move on. Okay, so how is it to hold? Really nice, feels really good in the hand, okay? Um, these uh, handles have a really nice texture. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, but that gives you a really good grip. I don't think this is this is going to slip. And the um, the handles seem to contour to your hand. Okay, which is really cool. There's some jimping here. Okay, let's just focus, focus. Okay. Uh, not too aggressive. Okay. Really nice, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll really test this out and I'll see how that goes with time. Uh, you can easily expose part of this blade if you want to start, uh, uh, you know, uh, making fires with a fire steel. Okay, at the moment, obviously, it doesn't have one that's easy, easily fixed. Just sand some of that off, okay, to create a 90 degree angle, and you should be able to start fires. Uh, really nice coating, okay. Uh, let's have a look. We bring this in really close. This is 4K, so you can see. Oh, there's already here. There, it's got a texture to it. Okay, but I mean, close up, it looks rough. But honestly, looking at it, really smooth. Okay, really smooth. Really nice. And once again, I just love this color combination. Okay, so love it. This will look really good on like a, a chest rig or next year, especially if you're in like a tactical environment. This blends in, especially if uh, 
in like a desert desert environment blends in really well okay all right so let's have a look at the sheath now okay so plastic polymer sheath now a lot of people uh, I've heard say that um, it's not a bad sheath okay uh, I haven't heard anyone say it's a bad sheath but people say they would prefer kydex okay uh, now most of the kydex well every kydex sheath I've ever seen has a major flaw and that is uh, when it gets really hot the, uh, the kydex malforms I don't know if it expands or contracts or whatever it malforms I think it expands and it, the uh, kydex loses its shape okay just from my experience and if you had a knife sitting in a kydex sheath okay nice click uh, it would uh, anywhere in a really hot place say for example Afghanistan Iraq um, uh, even the outback here gets really hot okay that kydex sheath if it's sitting on your on your chest rig or on your backpack or on the back of your backpack in the sun it will expand over time now I don't know the quality of uh, the kydex sheath sheets that SE makes but if they're kydex I'm assuming that would happen to um, the uh, kydex that they make as well because that's what kydex does it expands uh, and malforms in extreme heat causing it to deform now a lot of people never bring that up and I wanted to bring that up because I've heard that this plastic polymer does not um, do that which is why I really really wanted this knife because I really like plastic polymer sheets okay they don't have the the feel of a, of a, of a kydex I get that however it doesn't have that massive drawback of the kydex okay because last thing you want is a loose sheath and your blade falling out all right so let's have a look at this so it seems that uh, you've got like a little thumb ramp here. You press on that and you get the blade out. Okay, and a nice little click. And what's happening when that clicks is these, if you look carefully, zoom in, uh, the handles here expand and then they close off. And that's that clicking sound, okay? Whatever. Um, I don't know how that's how well that's going to hold over time, over years, but it feels pretty solid right now, okay? You need like quite a bit of force to get that out. So let's do the handle test. Yeah, that's not coming out, okay? Now me personally, I would have a second strap on on that if I was if I was you know holding that on like a, a rig or a webbing of some kind I will do up a strap for it okay uh, now the uh, the reason uh, why I would do that okay have a second uh, retention system like I'm done here with my uh, Gerber okay even though that's got a click-in system is because um, um, uh, you always need that second uh, set of safety because you might be running around and fall over a log, okay, and this might come loose, okay, um, in the fe in the field, okay. Um, you might um, do something like uh, a lot of what a lot of people in the uh, military, any military in any any country of the world do is uh, crawl, leopard crawl on the ground, okay. Um, crawling on the ground, if you're crawling on the ground and you have this knife with you. Um, it's going to be pulling and hitting the ground and doing all sorts of crazy things and it's going to come loose okay no matter how good that retention system is that's why you need that secondary retention strap to prevent it from coming loose when you're doing something like crawling on the ground or you're lying on your guts and you have to move quickly okay this thing can come loose uh, and if you say that people in the military don't do that I'm sorry they do okay people in every military really need to do that and they do that quite a lot You'd be surprised, okay? Um, yeah, that's why I have that second strap. But in any case, this, this, man, that is good. That feels good. And love the plastic polymer sheath. Like I said, I would prefer this plastic polymer 
um, over Kydex any day. I don't know why more people aren't doing this because I know there are a lot of people out there that are complaining that Kydex expands in the heat. Um, primarily, soldiers, they say that quite a lot, okay? Kydex expands um, in the heat. Well, okay. But once again, yeah, really good retention system. If I don't push on that um, jimp there, it still comes loose, but it takes a lot more pressure, okay? All right, let's have a look at this, the metal clip. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm assuming you can put that. So that's pretty good. You know, they've made it so that, uh, I'll show you guys, zoom out a bit. They've made it so that you can carry this on your on the left side or on the right side, you know, left-handed, right-handed, however you like. So that's pretty good, okay? Um, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't do that. So yeah, have it like sitting like that or guessing something like this. Okay, lower if you want, on this side if you want. So it's pretty good, pretty, pretty clever idea. And let's have a look at the pretty tough material. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do a quick uh, sharpness test straight out of the box. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Okay. That is sharp. That is really sharp. Oh, almost cut myself there. Okay, so really sharp, right out of the box. Okay. Let's do a shaving, shaving test, okay. All right, so that is really sharp. All right, straight out of the box. Man, dude. Really sharp, right out of the box. Well done, SC. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the back of the knife as well. Okay, so uh, flat back. Okay, some sometimes you have some knives have jimping. Okay, that's also uh, pretty nice. What I don't like at the back is when they have that glass breaker, that uh, sharp edge. Because if you're holding the knife like this on your on your on your chest rig, okay, next to your chest. That, that sharp thing, you know, if you just, if you fall, that could just poke you. And yeah, just never like that concept, okay? Yeah, I understand the, the, the need for it. But, uh, you know, this is more useful because you can do a lot of um, hammering, breaking toss, okay? Light hammering with something like this if you need to. Uh, as you can see, pretty durable, pretty useful, okay? And, uh, and a little lanyard loop there, okay? Uh, that's uh, it for my uh, unboxing and initial impressions of uh, the SE6 guys in uh, Desert Tan with uh, the My Carta handles. Okay, uh, I hope you guys um, like the video. Uh, this is one of the uh, uh, first videos that, that's going to go up on my uh, channel. So, uh, you know, a like and a subscribe would really help uh, the channel out. Okay, I'll be doing a detailed uh, testing and review of this knife uh, in the upcoming weeks, okay? Uh, and I'll give you my thoughts on uh, how it goes, okay? Really excited to test it out. Uh, thank you to uh, all you guys out there for watching this and uh, appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And thank you to the eBay seller whose name I'll put up there for sending me the, the knife in a timely manner. And obviously, thanks to um, SE Knives for making an excellent product, okay? We'll put it to the test. All right, guys. See you later.